We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for his mercy and forgiveness. I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have made all those reborn in Christ a chosen race and a royal priesthood, grant us, we pray, the grace to will and to do what you command, that the people called to eternal life may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I will take the children of Israel from among the nations to which they have come and gathered them from all sides to bring them back to their land. I will make one nation upon the land in the mountains of Israel and there shall be one prince for them all. Never again shall they be two nations and never again they shall be divided into two kingdoms. No longer shall they defile themselves with their idols their abominations, and all their transgressions. I will deliver them from all their sins of apostasy and cleanse them so that they may be my people and I may be their God. My servant David shall be prince over them, and there shall be one shepherd for them all. They shall live on my statutes and carefully observe my decrees. They shall live on the land that I gave to my servant Jacob, the land where their fathers lived. They shall live on it forever, they and their children and their children's children, with my servant David, their prince forever. I will make with them a covenant of peace. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them, and I will multiply them and put my sanctuary among them forever. My dwelling shall be with them. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Thus, the nations shall know that it is I, the Lord, who, make, who will make Israel holy, when my sanctuary shall be set up among them forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant isles and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. 
the Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings. The grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep, and the oxen. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. To honor the gospel, please stand. Cast away from you all the crimes you have committed, says the Lord, and make for yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what Jesus had done began to believe in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees convened the Sanhedrin and said, What are we going to do? This man is performing many signs. If we leave him alone, all will believe in him, and the Romans will come and take away both our land and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, who was a high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing. Nor do you consider that it is better for you that one man should die instead of the people so that the whole nation may not perish. He did not say this on his own, but, but since he was a high priest for that year, he prophesied that Jesus was going to die for the nation, and not only for the nation, but also to gather into one the dispersed children of God. So from that day on, they planned to kill him. So Jesus no longer walked about in public among the Jews, but he left for the region near the desert to a town called Ephraim, and there he remained with his disciples. Now the Passover of the Jews was near, and many went up from the country to Jerusalem before Passover to purify themselves. They looked for Jesus and said to one another, as they were in the temple area, what do you think, that he will not come to the feast? My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, for the past five weeks, we've been preparing ourselves to celebrate the passion, death, and resurrection of our Lord. This is the last day before we enter to what we call Holy Week. Tomorrow, we will celebrate the entrance of Jesus to Jerusalem his entrance to what we call his passion and death. That's why you would notice that even in our gospel for today, that is being narrated. Yan ho yung kwento sa ating ibanghelyo sa araw na ito. Marami silang bintang na ibinibintang Jesus 
marami silang panghusga na ginagawa kay Jesus. That's why even at the latter part of the gospel, they were thinking whether Jesus will enter to Jerusalem or not. They were wondering whether Jesus will attend the feast of the Passover. And we all know that for the Israelites, for the Jews, Passover or the feast of the Passover is a very important feast. It was during this feast that they commemorate the goodness of God to the people of Israel. That's why they were wondering, will Jesus come? Will Jesus attend the feast? Will Jesus enter Jerusalem? And my dear brothers and sisters, for the past five weeks, we keep on reflecting about the goodness of the Lord. That's why before we enter this Holy Week, I want you to remember one simple thing. And what is that? That the Lord is always faithful to all of us. You would notice that for the past five weeks, we've been hearing about Israelites turning their backs to the Lord. Israelites having false God, believing in false God. Israelites not trusting the goodness of the Lord. There were some times that they even complained to the Lord. But look at His goodness. Despite of it, He has been faithful and He will always be faithful. Kung meron mang isang bagay, na gusto ko hong bitbitin natin sa araw na ito, papasok sa mga mahal na araw, ay yung mga salitang, kailanman hindi tayo bibiguin ng Diyos. That's why probably, my dear brothers and sisters, as we enter into this Holy Week, in Filipino, we, call, we do not call this week as mga banal na araw. But in Filipino, how do we translate Holy Week? Mga mahal na araw. And if you would try to translate the word mahal in English, it can be translated in two things. Una, when you speak of mahal, it speaks of love. It is not just simply a romantic love. It is not just simply a love of a man and a woman, but it is more of giving your whole self. Because in this holy week, in this mga mahal na araw, pinapaintindi sa atin kung gaano tayo kamahal ng Diyos. He has been faithful to all of us simply because He loves us. And I hope in this holy week that we will have, we will start tomorrow. We truly encounter, we truly experience the love of God for each and every one of us. The second translation of mahal in Filipino or in English ay ano po? kapag sinabing mahal kasi yan. It's expensive. And I want you to look at this week as not just simply an expensive week, but let us not understand that we should not cheapen these days. Nakakalungkot ho kasi, kasi kapag sinabing mga mahal na araw, we tend to cheapen the celebration. And what do I mean by this? We do not appreciate really the celebration. For some, these are just traditions. These are just part of the cultures that we have. For some, even, this will be days of vacation. Kaya nga siya expensive, Father. Eh. 
kasi mahal ho ang magbakasyon. But to tell you honestly, my dear brothers and sisters, what is really the cause of this Holy Week? Ano po ba yung halaga ng mga mahal na araw? And we cannot quantify that with, in, in any amount simply because it is too expensive because Jesus himself gave his all to each and every one of us. Mga mahal na araw, pinaparamdam kung gano'n tayo kamahal ng Diyos. At alam natin yung pagmamahal ng Diyos kailanman hindi natin pwedeng bilangin yung pagmamahal ng Diyos. We cannot really quantify that because He will always give His whole self. That's why my dear brothers and sisters, we can also ask the same question of the Pharisees or the people around Jesus. What do you think that he will not come to the feast? It is now really in our hearts whether we will open ourselves to accept Jesus, to feel his love, to feel his offering of his whole self to each and every one of us. Have a blessed week, my dear brothers and sisters. Have a blessed, holy, and loving week. Please stand. Let us pray to God our Father that we may have the courage of Christ to face life and difficulties, even death, for the sake of life and growth for ourselves and for others. As we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that non-Christians may come to know Jesus, who died for all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that separated Christians we show greater commitment to ecumenism. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those in authority may commit themselves to the service of truth and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all Catholics may have a special sense of belonging to each other through their common faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that mothers who lose their child may not be crushed by the weight of their problems. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we lift to the Lord our personal intentions. We also pray for those people whom we promise to pray for and all the intentions offered in this Mass. God, our Father, who by drawing the faithful together has made them one body of Christ, send your Holy Spirit to draw your people into closer bond with each other. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Living God. 
please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the gifts we offer from our fasting be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray, and as an expiation for our sins, may they make us worthy of your grace and lead us to what you promise for eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full, full of your, your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray. Partaking that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At 
the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, here is Jesus who has been faithful to all of us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Long have I waited for your coming home to me. Our new life. Please stand. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, 
Let us feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please all kneel as we pray to the filial home to Nuestra Señora de Guia. I revere thee with all my heart, most holy Virgin, above all, all the, the angels and saints of heaven, and I, I consecrate to thee my soul with all its faculties, my body with all its senses, and my heart with all its affections, praying that thou wilt obtain for me from the blessed Trinity all the graces I need for salvation. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. O peerless lady, how wretched and paltry is our gratitude beside the infinite graciousness. How kind and good thou art, O lady, to us, the children of Adam, as the generous dispenser of all divine graces. What have we not received from thy tender and merciful heart? This very land owes its happiness to the presence of thy holy image, which has drawn to us all the favors which we unceasingly receive from God. The image is for us a loving proof of thy motherly love and affection, as well as a shining mirror where we can glimpse thy most admirable virtues. Be always our guide, O Mary, our mother, our help and succor. And although we are miserable sinners, turn not away from us thy motherly heart, do not, not allow, allow this land to ever forget thee, and as long as one of us shall remain, to invoke thy sweet name, O Mary, show thyself always, our most tender mother, our steadfast advocate, our safe refuge, and most loving guide. Amen. Mary, our guide, show your motherly love and pity upon us. Nuestra Señora de Guia. Pray for us. Please. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Have mercy, Lord, on your church as she brings you her supplications and be attentive to those who incline their hearts before you. Do not allow, we pray, those you have redeemed by the death of your only begotten Son to be harmed by their sins or weighed down by their trials through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.